Hello Ed Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are taking you inside one of Africa's most recognized cities. For those of you who don't know, we are talking about the city of Vinduk. Vinduk is the capital of the country of Namibia in continental Africa. We shall dig deep into this amazing capital, the reason why Vinduk is so unique in the African continent. If you consider its amazing history and turbulent past, we will explain to you and walk you through why Vinduk is so exceptional in the continent for a number of reasons. For those of you who don't know, the country of Namibia is one of the countries that incorporated the protection of environment to its constitution. We shall lay that down to you and we will close this episode with the amazing profile of the beautiful city of Vindu. So without any more delay, we shall just go straight into it. But in considering that, for those of you who don't know Namibia, allow me to give you a clear background as with regards to this transformative African nation. If you consider Namibia looking at this journey from where it started, Namibia as a country is in southwestern part of the continent of Africa. The country borders Botswana, Zambia and Zimbabwe and is bounded by the Atlantic Ocean in the west. The Orange River to the South Mark and the southern border with South Africa. The Kunene River and the Okavango Delta or to the Okavango River creates sections of the nation's northern border with Angola. Only around the 21st of March 1990, Namibia gained independence from South Africa. The country's name is derived from Namib Desert. If you consider the amazing historical past of this African country, Namibia has an area of just over 824,000 kilometers square. Namibia is 1.5 times the size of France and about half the size of the United States state of Alaska. If you consider this transformative African nation, the country has a population of just over 2 million people. Considering recent figures, it is the second least densely populated country in the world if you consider that putting in power with Mongolia. The capital is Vinduk. The country's largest city is situated in the Central Highlands. The main spoken languages are English, Ovabongu, Ovambo, Saripoinad, the Kwikoi, and Afrikaans. If you look at this country, the way it has transformed, considering that the Republic of Namibia is a vast, sparsely populated country situated in the South Atlantic coast of Africa, as we've laid out, the country is one of the countries in the world that incorporated the protection of the environment into its constitution. Looking at its history, considering from South African to German, you will understand that the country has come a long way. So as we are talking about, we shall join you in a moment to explain the beautiful city of Vinduk in Namibia. So we shall be meeting you in a second. Thanks for watching. Namibia gained independence 29 years ago and ever since enjoyed political peace and stability. So having won our freedom in 1990, Besides being referred to as land of the brave, she's also known as a country with wide open spaces. So yes, we're a small economy, taking into account our population statistics. To be exact, the last census indicated 2.6 people per square kilometers. Also, the country is quite diverse, whether it is referring to our landscapes, having the Namib as well as the Kalahari Desert, or culturally, with more than 11 indigenous languages spoken, though important to note that English is the official language. As to the people of Namibia, I am a proud Namibian by birth and can state we are often referred to by the expatriate community or visitors or tourists as friendly and helpful. And a lot of value is also placed on the quality of family life. For example, and not just in rural Namibia, also in the capital city, Vintuk. Hence why it's not strange to quickly drive home and enjoy a family lunch in the middle of the day during a working week. Key sectors or industries um, posing significant investment opportunities would be in agriculture, speaking to the housing needs, renewable energy or the mining sectors. And geographically, Namibia is well positioned, having two harbors at Wolfish Bay and Luderitz, 
and an established road and rail network. So the country is definitely a gateway to the rest of SADC and SACO countries, having a small population but providing access to larger export markets. Welcome back again at Explorer. As we've promised in our introduction, that we will be exploring this transformative African capital and bring to you its history and why this capital gone through turbulent times, considering its transformation. Talking about Vinduk, Vinduk also known by its more traditional name, the I Germans in the Kokwe language, and also Ojomis or Ojeherero, all which means place by stream. It is the capital and largest city of Namibia, as well as the cultural and economic center. Though likely named for the mountain ranges near the home of its founder, South African captain Yonka Africana, Vinduk was also officially changed to Ojomus as part of the broader Africanization plans for many of the more important cities and towns across the country. The city was established around 1840 near a permanent stream by Captain Yonker Africana after building the stone church at the site. The original people by San Kokoi, eventually the Bantu, who all fought each other to ownership of the city. It was particularly favored by the Koshian ethnic groups, by the Bantu group later on and by the Dutch colonialists for its proximity to 12 freshwater streams at the time. The streams allow for crop production which would have not been possible otherwise under the Vinduk semi-arid dry climatic condition. The original settlers of Vinduk was destroyed during several wars and also battles between its ethnic and religious groups and had to be founded again by the Imperial German Army Major Kohl uh, Kurt van de Francois in 1890. At this point, the German claimed all of Namibia as part of the 1885 Treaty of Berlin which partitioned Africa. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Moving ahead, Vindu grew in size as Europeans and Africans migrated to its Bojin center, which was rigged by the three European style castles, the Heisenberg, the Sanderberg, and also the Schweinsberg, all also by the Alice first considering this thinking about the forts, which was built by Major von Francois. The German era ended, however, which the city was captured by South African on behalf of the British Empire in May of 1915. Military rule was instituted and growth came to a halt. The city began growing again after World War II. That growth included the construction of world's first uh, portable reclamation plant. Considering this, we're talking about the Growing Gap Reclamation Plant built in 1550, that's 1958, so the point out, which treated and reused domestic sewage for drinking water. When Namibia gained its independence from South Africa in 1990, after the bloody civil war, Vinduk was named the new country's capital city. Though nearly encircled by rocky cliffs on three sides, the city council annexed land to the north with the last major expansion taking place as of 2012. As a consequence of the annexation, so to point out, Vinduk is the world's third largest city by area covering just over 1,982 uh, 1, square miles. It is home to two airports. You have the Vinduk International Airport and a Ross Airport, and numerous protected historical binders and also museums. Considering this amazing African capital, it has transformed recently, and also you're looking lots of development in different ways. Vinduk is never gonna be the same again. 
It has opened itself to international activities and is well known for its conservation and transformative nature. And you would agree that in general, it's not easy to set up business in a foreign country. So in the Namibian context, major challenges would include recruitment of skilled resources. That's in terms of staffing needs. So our smaller population creates a significant skills gap or relevant work experience gap, especially when it comes to more specialized fields. So having to rely on work visas and work permits, it's a big administration task and being subjected to this potential rejection every other year on the submission of a new request. Those are business risks that need to be actively managed and hence our advice that it's best to apply well in advance. Secondly, another challenge might be managing current uncertainties on policy reforms like the potential impact of our new Equitable Economic Empowerment Bill or the recently announced tax amendments. So these unfortunately negatively affected foreign investor confidence the past two or three years and we do foresee it will still create a lot of uncertainty over the next few years. We are at present not rated as high up as we would want to be uh, but I can say that a lot of reforms are currently underway with the new business regulatory authorities going by the acronym BIPA as well as with our inland revenue services. For example, electronic filing of tax returns were only introduced in January 2019, yes, quite recent. So these are all needed reforms, but the reward and benefits are yet to be experienced. And along with such big change comes teething problems. As of 2012, Vinduk has transformed. The population of Vinduk then exceeded over 300,000 people of varied ethnicity and about 67% were blacks, 16% white, and 17% were Cape Colored uh, people of mixed racial heritage. The city has been growing at a rate of just over 4% annually, with a growth rate as high as 10% in various informal settlements around it. After independence, the new government adopted English as its language of operations, though Afrikaans is still used as the lingua franca in this amazing African capital. Considering Vinduk, Vinduk has transformed recently. There are a number of things you could do while you visit this transformative African capital. If you look at this while you find yourself in Vinduk, you can know more about Namibian history and seeing different ways. Namibia having been a German colony, there's a vast history behind it. You could also choose to understand the history of the country by visiting many of its historical locations in Vinduk. There is also Heroes Center, the War Memorial and the Patriotic and Nationalist Symbols, which is situated at the distance of just over 10 kilometers in the city. The visit of Independent Memorial Museum located at Vinduk, the hilltop and display everything related to Namibia's history. All of these things, you could even decide to visit Vinduk, it's all about nature. There is hardly any better place than Vinduk to experience nature of its full glory. It is a wonderful African city, as you may see that yourself. Also, there are different shops, international boutiques, that may be able to shop there while you travel to this transformative African capital. More importantly, you can also eat and drink and a number of things that you could do. Visiting Namibia's craft center to get a preview of the local art items will transform your holidays. The best way to know that is for you to feel the place and interact with the indigenous materials yourself and the people. You can buy many beautiful souvenirs from this transformative African capital market also that will enhance your own experience with regards to Namibia's culture. Also, for those of you who like continental food, you have lots of things you could do around this particular city. Having a green night will also transform your perception with regards to nightlife in this African city. When it comes to great nightlife, there are many places in Vinduk. Some must be visited places like the Boiler Room and also you have uh, the, the Club London and many other places that you could try your own self. Also, the Katatura Township Tour would also help you have a clear picture as to the transformative nature as where Vinduk was and where it is today. 
and also in you looking at those different characteristics you may want to create your own contacts if you are there for business trips or doing some other things that will enhance your own experience while you find yourself in Vinduk. if you are new to our channel we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network that's all what we got for you with regards to Vinduk. Hopefully, we're able to inform you with regards to this transformative African capital and more importantly, we've provided you some amazing information with considering its history, the journey that this city has been through, and the historical turbulence in different ways, the annexation by the Germans, later the South Africans and British and other things lead this city to be a unique city in the African continent. If you have been to Vinduk, we would like to hear from you. If you've just come in recently from uh, this amazing African country of Namibia, we would like to know what your experiences were and what makes you feel this country is unique in the African continent. More importantly, we would like to know when is the next time you plan to visit. If you are from this country, we would like to know if we were spot on with regards to our assessment considering its amazing capital. For now, I want to thank you for watching The Explorer. We're looking forward to meeting you soon. We encourage you to watch some of our other episodes on our videos on our YouTube channel talking about the African continent, the cities, countries, and the beautiful infrastructural development in different ways. So for now, I want to thank you for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. And have a good day. Bye-bye.